Hey guys, my name is Nani and I'm gonna be teaching you how you can set up these PNG tuber assets from my Etsy shop on your OBS and Discord. So I'm gonna be starting with this one for OBS and it's the more complex one. Animation wise, it's my favorite as well. So you need to go to this link. I'm gonna link it down below and you can also find it on the instructions PDF from Etsy if you bought it from me. Uh, you need to click download now and this is a free app but if you want you can support the developers here but then you just click no thanks and pick the version that you need I selected the first one so after you extracted and downloaded the app this is the interface you're gonna see and it's quite easy to use I'm gonna start by explaining the top so this app lets you pick four initial images, a closed mouth image for when you're not speaking, an open mouth image for when you are speaking, a closed mouth blinking, and an open mouth blinking to add more dimension to the animation. So you just kind of select your images from the files. And this is what it looks when I'm speaking. You can see it looks very natural even though it's a PNG and the eyes close and open when I'm speaking and not speaking. Super cute. So here you can find the animations. You can add an animation for when your mouth is closed. I usually leave it on static but you have seven animations to choose from. The open mouth animation when you're speaking and there's a lot of animations and you can pick the animation that you think it looks the best for each emotion and this one is a mouth transition for when you're speaking if you want the image to jump when you speak so after you set up your main state you can create other states basically your other emotions let's create a second one i'm gonna do a hype one a closed mouth open mouth Blinking and uh, blinking again. So this is the hype state and what you can do now is just assign hotkeys to each state. So basically I'm just gonna assign the letter H because hype. And here you can pick if you want the animation to be used when you press the key or when you click the key. I'm gonna use press. Now on this side we have the microphone, you can pick whatever microphone you want your PNG to react to. Here's some other settings, you can pick different backgrounds but I leave it on grey which is a transparent one. And the cool thing about this program is that you don't have to do any of this, especially if you purchase the PNG tuber from my Etsy. All you need to do is go to load, select a file and everything is already set up for you and if you want to save your own definitions and add different images all you need to do is click on save and save your own profile okay so now on obs all you have to do is go and create a new game capture pick a specific window and select the app we were using make sure you allow transparency so there's no background and here it is so now you just have to place it wherever you want adjust it as you wish and that's it so now i'm gonna be teaching you how you can do it on discord and it's quite easy but the animation of the png is not as complex because there's only two but all you need to do is go to this link and You'll have to be already part of a Discord and have an account. You'll have to sign in, authorize everything, and then you'll be on this page. So this is my Discord image. You need to select an inactive image. I'm going to select this one. And a speaking image. This one. I'm going to save both. Here you have a bunch of settings that you can play with. So now to add it on Discord, all you have to do is copy this link, the individual one. Now on OBS, you'll want to add a browser source. 
click it, paste the link, and there you have it. You can see that when I'm not speaking, it goes dark and it switches images. Also, don't forget that you'll have to be on a voice room on Discord for this to work. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions, just DM me.